Vigo County remains in the blue with COVID case numbers, but officials want you to remain vigilant. That's because a new variant is picking up steam. Good evening to you and thank you for joining us. The Delta variant is now present in at least 42 states, including both Illinois and Indiana. News 10's Hannah Fullman is live for you tonight in our studio. She has more on what local officials are saying about this new strain. This new variant was originally discovered in India. Now officials say the Delta variant will likely become the dominant strain here in the nation sometime this summer. The Delta variant is quickly spreading across the state and making its way to the Wabash Valley. We do know it's in the state. Uh, if it's not here yet, we're just fortunate, um, but it will be here if it's not here already, which it probably is. Dr. Darren Brucken is the Vigo County Health Commissioner. He says there are several reasons this variant is of more concern than others. But we're concerned that not only is it more infectious than the other strains, it'll hop person to person a lot more easily, particularly in households. It has the chance, at least on paper, of causing more severe disease, and it has the highest likelihood of being able to evade some of the vaccine. The CDC officially declared the Delta variant a variant of concern late last week. This is coming at a time when local hospitalizations are starting to slowly rise once again. He says most of these are among unvaccinated people, who Brucken says are much more likely to catch the Delta variant strain. The most important thing is it all hinges on the question of whether or not you're vaccinated. If you're vaccinated, we have seen it. We've seen 99.2% of hospitalizations in the state of Indiana since May the 1st for COVID related illness are in unvaccinated people. Brucken wants to remind community members that as society continues to open up and restrictions are lifted, this does not mean COVID has disappeared. Nobody wants to hear you know, wear your mask, you know, the pandemic is not over. We all want to celebrate and think that this is behind us, but it absolutely is not behind us. To stay protected against the virus, local health officials are encouraging you to get vaccinated if you're eligible. For more information on the Delta variant, we have linked you to more resources on our website. That's WTHITV.com. Back to you.